Hello students of class 8. This is a new lesson. You need one section too. The name of the lesson is The Thief. Now, here the, the, there is a discussion for you to do. Talk here to your partner about a time when someone you trusted let you down. Then how did you feel at the time? What? Why do you think that person had behaved the way he or she did? Will you ever trust him or her again? Now once the fate is broken, can it be regained? That is the question. Now in the following story, a young street smart and pretty thief thinks he has found his uh, next victim whose confidence and trust he wins easily but when time comes to put his plan into action something unexpected happens now when he tries to steal or um, steal something then something different happened i was still a thief this is the story i was still a thief when i met orun and though i was only 15 now the age of the thief was 15 i was an expert uh, I was an experienced and fairly successful hand. This is what the thief is saying about himself. His age was 15 and he was an experienced thief. Now, Orun was watching the wrestlers when I approached him. When Deepak approached Arun, the person, the boy, then he was watching the wrestlers he was about 20 a tall lean fellow this is the description of the boy whom the thief approached and he looked uh, to his age was 20 tall lean and he looked kind and simple enough for his purpose his purpose is to steal i hadn't had much luck of late and thought I might be able to get into the young young person's confidence. Now, Ablet means uh, for the time being he did not have much luck, so he thought that he should be able to get into the young person's or own's confidence. He seemed quite fascinated by the wrestling. Uh, he was uh, taking interest in the wrestling. Two well-oiled men slid about in the soft mud, grunting and slapping their ties. Now they were grunting, they were slapping their ties, and they were well-oiled, and uh, they were fighting in the soft mud. So when I drew Arun into conversation, he did not, uh, he did not seem to realize I was a stranger. And so the way um, the thief addressed Arun that made him uh, to think that he the thief was not a stranger he seemed to be uh, uh, seemed to be in a position that he had known the thief uh, from much earlier you look like a wrestler yourself I say then what the thief uh, said to the person, said to the boy, is that he looked like a wrestler himself. Uh, so do you. That is the reply. He replied, which put me out of my stride. And then uh, in reply, the boy also told that the bug also looked like a wrestler and that put him off for a moment. Because at the time I was rather thin and bonny and non, not very impressive physically and uh, at that time when this comment was passed he was very thin and bony and uh, very uh, not very impressive physically yes i said i rachel yes i said the thief said he wrestles sometimes what's your name deepak Deepak, I lied. That means the thief lied that his name is Deepak. Uh, that will be a question to you. Why that? Uh, why uh, the thief lied his name to be Deepak? Uh, hmm. 
Deepak was about my fifth name. Deepak was his fifth name. I had earlier called myself uh, Ranbir, Sudhir, Trilok, and Surinder. So these were the four previous names. And now his name he told to be Deepak. After this preliminary exchange, Arun confined himself, confined, engaged himself to comments on the maths. Now he was passing comments on the maths, and I did not have much to say. Deepak did not have much to say about the maths. After uh, after a while, he walked away from the crowd of spectators. I followed him. Now after some time, he left the crowd of spectators. But the chief followed him because he could not get into the confidence of the young man. He wanted to do something with the person. So here I stop today. I have two questions for you which you will try to solve. And the questions are What did Deepak think when he approached the woman? And the second question is, what were Deepak's previous names? So these two are very simple, easy questions. You should be able to answer them. Please answer them. Try to answer them. We will meet you next, tomorrow. Till, till that time, goodbye. Thank you.